Before the Revolutionary War began, or there was even talk of independence, another revolution dominated America. The First Great Awakening was a massive wave of religious revivals throughout the Western world. Among the most influential people in this movement was the Reverend George Whitfield. George Whitfield was born in Gloucester, England, on December 27, 1714. At a young age, he became interested in acting and theater, especially reenacting Bible stories. Sadly, his father's inn was not doing so well financially, so he was only able to get into Oxford as the lowest class of students, servitors, in which he received free tuition in exchange for working for the school. He only gained an interest in religion after becoming severely sick in college. He joined the Holy Club alongside the Wesley Brothers and other soon-to-be-famous Great Awakening preachers. Whitfield left for the British colony of Georgia in 1738, just a few years after his ordination. In Georgia, he decided his life's work would be to construct an orphanage for the colony. Before he left, he presented a few sermons to large congregations and was met with very positive response. When he got back to England to raise funds for an orphanage, he gave his first open-air sermon. When he returned back to the colonies to begin construction of the orphanage, he began preaching to massive crowds outdoors. As the crowds grew, he began to develop a unique style of preaching that focused more on emotional response than preaching had in the past. His practices of reaching out to those who usually did not attend church led him to become one of the first ever celebrities in the Americas. Whitfield took advantage of the rising popularity of print and used pamphlets and other printed papers to announce his sermons. It was once remarked by Benjamin Franklin, his good friend, that his sermons were so persuasive that a man once went to his sermon, leaving money at home, as he was determined not to give anything at all, but turned and asked his friend for money to give after hearing the sermon. George Whitfield was rather conflicted with his views on race and slavery. He preached to blacks and whites alike, and is sometimes considered the father of African American Christianity. Despite this, he thought of black slaves as humans, but subordinate nonetheless. He was a very strong defender of the practice of slavery, but also an advocate for the humane treatment of slaves. While he was nowhere near as opposed to slavery as other Great Awakening preachers like the Wesleys, his approach was much more tolerable to his contemporaries. Whitfield subscribed to predestination, but was a vocal opponent of Arminianism, unlike most Great Awakening preachers. Whitfield continued preaching to large crowds until his death in 1770. On September 29th, he gave his final sermon to a crowd while standing on a barrel, despite his poor health. By the next morning, he had passed away. George Whitfield's role in the Great Awakening was undeniably vital in creating a unified American identity. Religion was such an integral part in the lives of colonial Americans, so a massive movement spreading revolutionary new ideas helped to unite them with common identity. His sermons reached countless people across the colonies and in England. Regardless of your own views on religion, it was an integral part of an early American society, so such a massive religious movement had consequences beyond spirituality. His involvement in the creation of a cohesive American culture helped the country to survive in the early days after the Revolution. Don't forget that since my channel's first anniversary is coming up, I am hosting a Q&A, so be sure to comment questions or message me on social media or email me directly. I will put together a video as soon as I have enough questions, and I look forward to seeing what you have to ask me. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Late Modern History for inside information, behind the scenes, and sneak peeks at upcoming videos. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. This is Matthew, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye, goodbye, when the dear baby dear from your eye, though it's hard to pass, I know, I know, I'll be sick of the death to go, don't cry, don't die. There's a silver lining in the sky, but my old sing cheerio, chin chin, na boo, toogaloo, goodbye.